Hi, so I just got back from hiking the Kalalau Trail here in Kauai. It is my absolute most favorite hike, um, and I have done it maybe eight or nine times. And um, what we do is we hike in, it's about an 11 mile hike, we camp for a couple nights, and then we come out. Um, the hike takes about anywhere from like seven to nine hours, depending. Um, and uh, on your ability and uh, how many people in our group or how many times we stop to take photos It is absolutely the most beautiful place on the planet. I highly recommend it You do need a permit and uh, I'll have the information uh, in my blog on how to get a permit I'll also have a lot more information in my blog Which is millionaireandflipflops.com if you want to check out more information on Specifics and the time of year to go and what to expect and all kinds of things like that but what I want to do with you today, I was actually reminded because it is my eighth or ninth time and I felt really comfortable going in and we had some new friends with us and I was helping them out. And I just was reminded of the very first time that I went in and I didn't know how to pack my pack or what to bring and uh, we had a friend help us out. So um, what I want to do with you is share with you some information. Um, all the links to all this information, if you want to buy it or find more information on it, there will be some links below. Um, so I actually go with an Osprey backpack. Um, this is a 65. Um, there's 55, 45s, all different sizes. Um, and uh, the 45, just to give you an idea, is about a carry-on uh, to be able to go onto the plane. Um, 55, most of my friends had 55s. I actually go with a 65 because I'm the one that holds the tent. And the tent poles tend to be pretty long. Uh, we have a three or four person tent, so they're a little bit, uh, the tent poles are a little bit taller. So um, I like that for my backpack. So um, very important to get either a men's or a women's pack depending on your size because your waistband, this part, is really going to help a lot to take a lot of the weight off. Um, my very first year I had a pack that was way too big for me and uh, the pack didn't really work. So you always want to make sure you, you get a good uh, female or male depending on your body size. Um, most of the backpack companies will have different uh, sizes for you that you can measure up so you can measure your body to find out what, what's good for you. So uh, here's the backpack. Um, the tent that we take out, I actually go with a big Agnes. It's fantastic. Uh, I think I got this through REI. Um, super easy pull. The pull set is all one piece. So you basically take the tent out, lay it down, put all the pull pieces together. It just lays right out and then you just put the pieces together. It even has an LED light in there, which is pretty cool. Um, this is fantastic. Um, I take out a sleeping bag with me. Now this is kind of optional. Um, I, don't, I don't like getting cold and it is a sweaty hot uh, hike, but it does get really cool at night. So I have a sleeping bag. The other option is a um, sleeping bag laid out for you if you're going with another person and then each of you can just bring um, a, uh, a towel or any kind of blanket to put over you. Um, I also, uh, the floor is hard, so this is just an inflatable. You just open this up and you just blow right in and it opens up into a sleeping pad. This is very handy to have. Uh, hiking shoes. I have Merrell's and I've got some kind of thick hiking socks. Definitely test out your shoes before you go out because you're going to get blisters. We have a friend who had brand new shoes. They were great shoes, but she had never worn before. I had blisters everywhere. So you want to find out what kind of socks you really need. So just test them around the neighborhood, whether you've got thin socks or thick, thick socks, and walk around in your, in your shoes before you get going, okay? Um, now, clothing-wise, um, you can do real basics. I like to be really comfortable. If, and you're gonna sweat your tail off. So I actually go out and, and similar to what I have on, which is uh, just a, a workout shirt, uh, moisture wicking material, and also running shorts. So super comfortable because you just want, you want to be comfortable when you're out there for you know eight to nine hours sweating your tail off. Um, bring a bathing suit for sure, okay? And then bring, I always just bring, here's my bathing suit, uh, just an extra change of clothing and then a uh, long sleeve for at night. Um, this is a bamboo shirt. This is actually a lazy dog shirt. Uh, this is a great shirt because it dries super quick. So um, you can wear it during the day for sun protection and rinse it in the river and then uh, wear it at night when you're sleeping. Uh, the most important part of the trip is hydration. This is, a, I took this bladder out of my camelback and so that lid comes off. It goes in your backpack and then you can just drink water right out of this. Now, the second part of that is 
most of the water out there is in the streams coming down from waterfalls, all kinds of stuff in there. So you need to have some sort of filtration system. Okay, so this is from, I think it's MSR. MSR, yeah, it's worn off, but I'll put the link down below. All right, what happens here is there's a little peg here. You undo the peg, you flip this over. It's super easy. Not while I'm on video though, right? Oh, it's all coming apart now. I cleaned it, that's why. <laughs> and then um, what you wanna do is you want to buy yourself what's called a dromedary bag, okay? Come on now. All right, well, for ease sake here. There you go. Okay. Um, you want to buy yourself a dromedary bag. So the water filtration is going to take a little time, but it's definitely worth uh, taking care of. I don't know what's going on here, so we're not going to play around with that. All right, so... This part goes in the water stream. This part is going to attach to your dromedary bag, which is under my arm. Okay? So you take this off the dromedary bag, screw this part on. So when you're pumping, just go it under your arm. When you're actually pumping the water, is pumping in through here, through the filtration system, into your dromedary bag. Once your dromedary bag is full of water, then you can put it into your your uh, camelback bladder, so that's all ready to go. And then I would actually pump a whole other set of water in here and bring that back to the camp, and then you can use it for cooking. So, food. Like I said, I'm not nut and berry kind of girl, so this is a jet boil. This is fantastic to have. This piece is very uh, compact, super easy to use. I don't use that piece, cleaned it out. All right, so what happens is you're gonna boil your water at night. So you just slide this on, put your water in there, put the lid on, and you attach it to one of these, which you can buy once you get to where you wherever you're going. Uh, you put this, screw this on to the, um, to the uh, uh, gas. So actually bring yourself matches or lighter. And then uh, boil the water. And then we get camel uh, uh, camping backpack meals, uh, which I'll put a link in there for you. Some of my favorite ones, mac and cheese is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and you basically just take the water, hot water, put it in this, it's not like astronaut food. You put it in the packets, let it sit for 15 minutes and it tastes fantastic. Um, so you want to bring with you also some utensils. These are some nice bamboo spoons and forks. All right. And then um, I actually got these. Uh, you can either use these good little bowl. And then I also, I also bring tea. I love my tea. So um, I also make myself a little cup of tea. So that's your meals. All right. Um, we, uh, tend to use the, you're going to definitely want to jump in the streams, but that's where we tend to uh, clean ourselves for the day. So a couple things, I just bring a super light little comb, I'll bring my toothbrush, a little compact toothbrush and toothpaste, small toothpaste, and this is Bronner's soap. This is a, um, a very easy to use, uh, great sort of camping soap, you can use it for uh, wash your hair and wash your body all in one. I actually just put it into a little travel container here. Um, and then these are great. Uh, once we're in there camping, um, these are just little Vibrams, five, five finger toes, just for little day hikes while we're in there. I like to use these because we're crossing in streams in and out. And I don't like to use my real big hiking shoes. I want to keep them dry for the way out. So um, these are actually really handy. And I also just to, for around the camp, I usually just bring myself a super light pair of Javianas uh, sandals. Uh, the big joke for us is that you never leave camp without a headlamp. This one was uh, it's falling apart, so I'll probably get you a different link for one. One of my friends had a super bright one. Um, if you pack in, pack in your headlamp, uh, take the batteries out so the light doesn't fade. And then uh, when you're in there, this is just fantastic to have because it's pitch black in the trail. Okay. 
Um, a couple other things I take out clothing wise, I bring a sarong. This is actually a lazy dog sarong, but any will do. This is going to be great for uh, just around the rivers, um, drying yourself off, sitting around the camp, a little bit of everything, extra blanket at night if you need it. And then this is a buff, which I absolutely love for sun protection. I get incredibly sore in there. I wonder always how I'm going to get out. And so I bring some deep relief. This stuff is fantastic just to rub into the muscles. Um, now, hydration. Hydration is huge. I actually bring in these Pedalite packs. These actually have saved me over the years because after a while, there's only so much water you can drink. Um, these are fantastic to bring um, to keep yourself hydrated. Um, in and out. Um, I, even when I travel, I actually take them every day just to just keep myself hydrated because a lot of times when we travel, dehydration ends up being the leading cause of most of our stomach ailments. Um, I bring Ziploc bags for a few things to put wet clothes in um, to use as dry bags, maybe for my phone or something, but also uh, pack in, pack out. So you bring your toilet paper and uh, don't leave anything behind. So the uh, packets from the food or anything else, toilet paper, I put in the Ziploc bags and I actually pack them out. Uh, a good little first aid piece. These, this is actually just a little strip of um, uh, to, uh, to, to use for blisters. They come in little sheets. I'll take care of that link for you as well. I do have, you know, a little dry bag for your phone because pictures are incredible that you're gonna see out there. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. So what I want to do, oh yeah, for the day hikes, I actually bring this backpack. So when we go out hiking, we hike up valley, we play around during the day. Um, what I have in here is usually my water, which is kind of heavy. So you don't want little, you don't want one of these bags with just the drawstrings because it'll really tear up your shoulders. And you don't want to tear up your shoulders when you got to wear your backpack the next day. So something with a little pad, this is just your dry bag for the day. Um, when it comes to packing your bag, the most important thing is to even out the weight. So I actually put the sleeping bag down in my bottom compartment. And then the most important will be your poles, okay? This is the heaviest part that I'm bringing. So I actually want it right down the center, okay? Then I put the actual bag, uh, the tent, sorry, right behind it. And then I feed everything in down the sides. And just tuck it down as far as you can. You really want to even out the weight so the backpack is going to sit really centered on your back, okay? You put some light stuff in the outsides. Your snacks and things that you want to get out along the way, or you don't want to have to take your whole pack off every time you want to grab your phone or to take a picture or, um, you know, anytime you need sun lotion or Pedialyte pack or whatever it is, make that stuff super handy to get at, okay? Um, and not too much weight in the top. Okay, this is actually a really good place to put things also uh, just light things um, I take my spare clothes that I'm gonna bring I put them in a ziploc bag especially my extra pair of hiking socks because I always want to make sure you have dry socks I actually put those in the top that way if it does rain my pack gets soaked uh, all my clothes stay dry all right and that's pretty much it your water is also going to go back here there's a little compartment on your uh, backpacks where your water will actually slide right down there as well okay again this is a fantastic pack i absolutely love it it's got this little mesh to keep your back kind of cool um and that's pretty much it so if you have any other questions um oh bring a hat a uh, nice little hat you can always hook it to the outside it's super sunny uh it's hot bring sunscreen your lips are gonna get burned, bring lip balm. Um, it's, uh, it's probably harder than any marathon I've ever uh, competed in, but it is absolutely fun, the most beautiful place on the planet. Go in for a couple days, enjoy, the stars are incredible. Um, I'm gonna give you a lot more detailed information again on when to go, what to expect, and some uh, little things you can do once you're in uh, at the camp, and uh, and go from there. So I hope you enjoy this and there's inf uh, the information. Again, all the links below on um, where to find this um, and the more detailed information. Most of the links will go through to Amazon. So I hope that helps. And any questions, if you have any other questions, please hit me up um, either on social media, on Facebook or Instagram, or you can um, you can uh, answer, ask, ask questions below and I will answer. So uh, that's it and hope to see you on the trail.